Hi and welcome. We will review House of Dragons episode 5. This episode starts out with Damon basically killing his wife. <laughs> he shows up to where she's located and basically spooks her hoss so that she gets thrown off the hoss and her back gets broken. And he kills her with a rock. <laughs> he wasn't going to kill her once she uh, fell off the horse because she was paralyzed. But she made uh, told him he couldn't finish. And so he finished by killing her with a rock. You might ask how he spooked the horse. He spooked it right here in this picture. Where he's putting his hand toward the hoss's nose uh, he basically just came off his dragon and smells of dragon so the hoss is naturally spooked because it's afraid of the dragon and so that's what prompts the hoss to jump up and throw the rider then we have the king going to Qualys's lands and his mansion and proposing a marriage between his daughter and his son which Corliss accepts and the conditions are put forward as to who will occupy the throne after Viserys dies and once again Viserys tells Corliss uh, it's my daughter and they make an agreement as to the names of the offspring of their two children. And so the king agrees that any children they have will be known as Valerian. But whichever one of them ascends to the throne, their name will be Targaryen. And so the two houses agree to be joined. And here are the two proposed lovers, which they, they're cousins anyway. And so um, they talk and make an agreement amongst themselves where the princess um, tells him that she, they will get married and follow the rules um, of their status. But they will both choose to sleep with whoever they want. Um, and that's because the man that she's going to marry is gay. Now back at King's Landing, we have Otto Hightower talking to his daughter, the Queen, and telling her that she needs to protect her son and that he has to be the king because the princess once she ascends the throne and and wants to be the queen and is the queen that she will kill her children and he tries to drum that into his daughter's head that she needs to be aggressive now if she wants her son to be the king. So this sets in motion a whole bunch of acts that take place. Now Sir Kristen, <laughs> well, it's an interesting episode with him. It is really, the episode is really about him. Um, and it also focuses on the princess and the king. Kristen expresses his love for the princess and wants them to run away together instead of her marrying her cousin. The princess quickly puts down any notion of that and says to him that, well, I'm going to be the queen. <laughs> What would I want to go run off with you somewhere to some island or 
you know, some place where they have oranges or whatever. I don't care about that stuff. I'm the queen. Uh, and so you get to really see the real, uh, the real character of the princess. Where she just thinks of Sir Kristen, and he even says this, am I your whore? And so I think for the first time, Kristen realizes, yeah, that's exactly what you are. And the queen summons Sir Kristen to her room to talk to him. And that's this scene here. To talk to him about the princess and her so-called misgivings, if we will, with her uncle in the last episode. And what really happened? Well, Sir Kristen, unfortunately for him, or maybe fortunately for him, seems to think that it is um, that she knows about him sleeping with the princess, which is not the case. And so he freely admits that he has broken his vows and that he slept with the princess. Now, the queen, I don't know what she thinks. If I were her, the first thought I would have is that, yeah, it might be possible that she slept with him, but it also might be possible that she slept with her uncle as well, and maybe Sir Kristen, because he's a noble knight, is just saying that he slept with the princess to protect her. Because he is her number one protector. So, I don't know which way the queen is thinking. But I would think she also thinks that she has something on the queen. Because Sir Kristen admitted this to her. And so, she now has some something to use against the princess. If she wants to. By Sir Kristen's admission of sleeping with her. So we'll see where this all goes. What happens is we have a wedding. And this is the king at the wedding with his daughter and his new son-in-law. Well, to-be son-in-law. What they're doing is they're having a big wedding party that goes on for seven days, uh, basically. Um, and in this particular scene, the king is making a speech... You know, I was making one of those speeches about both families coming together. A wedding speech. And what happens is the queen isn't here yet. She hasn't arrived. Everyone has arrived, including the king's brother, Damon, <laughs> who he kind of looks at when he arrives. He makes this entrance, and everybody's, like, looking at him. And uh, the king is, like, looking at him astonished, like, what is he doing here? And... Damon simply walks up to where the king is sitting and the king looks at him and basically tells one of the servants to get him a chair and he sits down in the chair at the table with his brother. I guess Viserys <laughs> says, ah, what the hell? He is family, so he might as well be here at the wedding. <laughs> I, I think deep down Viserys really does love his brother. Um... Although his brother can be a pain in the ass, I, I think that he loves his brother a lot. Anyway, there is another entrance that happens. And this is of the queen, who upstages the bride, clearly, and her betrothed. As she walks in with a green dress on, which... Some people remark at King's Landing that isn't green the banners that are put on the high tower for a call to battle? <laughs> and so the question is, is the queen <laughs> dressed in green? Because she is now at war with the princess. Um, the king is astonished by all of this and kind of... Uh, great acting by Patty Considine. Um, the facial expressions he makes, 
in this entire event during uh, the wedding are just excellent. I mean, if you just watch his face, it's it's really fantastic acting. Um, this episode, by the way, is is not full of action, but it is well acted, and the story moves right along because there's a lot of things, minor things. And some major things that happen along the way here. Um, excellent drama. I think this episode, by the way, is the best of the five episodes so far. And so she makes this grand entrance. Now we have the princess dancing with people. And Damon decides to go and dance with her. And they are talking in their own special Tigerian tongue to each other. Where Damon asks her, is this what you really want? Do you really want to marry this guy, your cousin? And so she says to Damon, well, if you want to take me, then go right ahead and fight your way through the king's gods and everybody else here. And why don't you take me to Dragonstone to be your wife? I said, you can do that. And so we see them here in this scene. At the same time, we have Sir Criston and uh, the Valerian lover. <laughs> this is his lover. Um, talking. And it almost seems to me, I'm not sure... Of this conversation because he's just his name is Joffrey if I remember right he he's just telling Sir Kristen you know we're you know the same you know we're, we both you know I'm the lover of the new uh, Prince I, I believe is his title will be Prince or maybe it'll be Duke I'm not quite sure what the new title will be but 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 he basically says says to Sir Kristen you know, hey, we're both in the same situation. We both love each of these people and, you know, want to protect them and make sure no harm comes to them or to us because we're both in the same situation, blah, blah, blah. Now, Sir Kristen is, like, so focused on the princess that it's not even funny. Um... And, you know, we, we don't know how seething he is with hate for anybody at this moment because of the marriage. But what happens is a fight breaks out. And Sir Kristen beats him to death. Now, we don't know why or how. It isn't explained. We just all of a sudden see this ruckus happen. At the same time this is going on, the king is watching his brother talk to his daughter. And so we don't know. At first you think it's Damon that start, you know, touches off everything because he's, you know, Mr. Chaos. But whatever, we don't know what started the fight or why Sir Kristen starts beating this man to death. Um... Not sure why he would beat him to death. He doesn't really have a reason to beat him to death. Um, especially since he was just being friendly with him. And just telling him the circumstances that they are both in. And just wanted him um, to be in allegiance with him. Uh, and with the princess and her new husband. But I don't know. They don't explain what touches off the fight. But Sir Kristen beats him to death. And so there's blood on the floor. And this is all happening in the middle of the dance floor. Um, and the king is sickened by this. Because the king has been sick all through this particular episode. And so he becomes very sick from while this fight is going on. And he's literally bleeding from the nose. Um... And we can see him here, um, bleeding, very sick. The episode ends with the marriage, 
vows taking place and unfortunately the moment the vows are taken the king collapses we don't know if he's died or what happens but he collapses at the ceremony and that's how the episode ends so we're left with a cliffhanger as to whether the series has died or not um, and what happens if he is dead how do, is the kingdom thrown into complete chaos this next ep upcoming episode number six is a timeline jump um, the actresses playing the princess and the queen will not be in the next episode they are being replaced by different actors so we'll see what happens um, like I said I thought this was the best episode of the series so far uh, is excellent my rating for this show was a four and a half out of five um, definitely a great alternative this show to the other trash that is currently out there um, that is shows this is clearly the best fantasy show that is on television at this very moment uh, much better than Rings of Power um, so if you get a chance to watch it I would recommend watching it if you enjoyed these videos please subscribe tell your friends about it have them subscribe until next time bye bye